what is going on guys i am finally as you can see behind the handlebars of the grom i promised you guys a few videos back that we we're gonna go out and ride this thing but then it started snowing again so you know how the story goes here in ohio the roads are still pretty slick though because it's been raining the past few days and it's actually supposed to rain here in an hour so i really don't want to get caught in it you guys thought i was rusty on the dirt bike oh god this is bad I am all over the place on this thing. I need to get back out on this thing more and start practicing for this year. Because that's just not going to cut it. I need to find a parking lot somewhere, but I still haven't found a place around where I'm living now. Oh, loose gravel. Loose gravel and motorcycles do not mix. Guys, I really need to do the sprocket upgrade. And you know what? Instead of talking about it, I'm just going to go ahead and order the dang thing tonight and get it over with. So you can expect a video on that soon. And hopefully... We'll be able to do second gear sit downs now don't quote me on that but i will try to do a second gear sit downs with a sprocket upgrade so any of my grom riders out there what sprocket do you recommend i mean i haven't even looked i'm sure there's more than one option but just let me know what you guys went with your experiences with it and um yeah i think it's gonna help a lot i'm on my way to town right now to uh do a little bit of exploring i know most of my videos are like out in the country and I just want to give you guys a change of scenery and uh, keep things fresh. It's kind of a boring ride there, but I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Man, this is probably the fastest I've been on a bike in a while. That's pretty sad. I don't even have to have my heated grips on right now. It's like 50 degrees. Also, guys, I have a few upgrades coming soon to this thing. I'm actually working with another company that uh, sent me out something to test and review. But I'm waiting on something else because I have to install that before I can install that, if that makes sense. But I know you guys love the install videos, so there will be plenty to come soon. Just be patient. Another nice thing about this warm weather is my GoPro batteries last longer than like 15 minutes. That's so annoying when I want to go out and film a video and I literally have to stop like every 15, 20 minutes to change the battery. <laughs> I want to get an adapter so that I can uh, run an external charger at the same time that I have the microphone plugged in. Yeah, this is the courthouse right here. Should we do some courthouse wheelies? I don't I don't think so. Then we got the bail bonds over there, followed by the rehab. So it's a good area around here. Definitely motorcycle friendly. I actually used to mow grass at this car lot right here. This little hole in the wall ghetto car lot that used to be abandoned, but I guess not anymore. So now it just looks like I'm pulling an illegal move but that's okay but yeah guys you see this hill right here we actually used to have to mow this and every time we almost flipped the mower off that thing i was gonna see if we could take the grom off of it and like come here and jump it but i forgot that curb was there so that's not gonna happen and that right there is the most ghetto skate park that i used to go to when i was younger there was always like the worst crowd that hung out there like literally just steal your stuff and just make you have like an awful time so we like rarely came here, but it's actually like a really awesome skate park. They have a huge bowl there. And um, it's actually pretty well built compared to some parks around here. But yeah, guys, I'm currently on a mission to uh, find a stunt lot, guys, so I can actually start practicing and getting better because just doing it on like the back roads and stuff i mean it's fun and all but the roads aren't flat and i'm always having to like turn around and look for cars coming it's just it's just not a very uh, good place to practice but i've been asking around and uh, hopefully i can find a spot because that'd be awesome like a little uh abandoned parking lot somewhere or something like that how about behind the department of transportation now that would be a spot matter of fact there's a guy on the gator and they usually think they're large and in charge so we're just gonna leave <laughs> ain't nothing back here anyways okay i guess we'll just do a rolling burnout instead of a wheelie <laughs> it's too slick I'm currently at the uh, 1500 mile mark. I got plenty of riding on this thing compared to some people I know. 
and that's what it's for guys i didn't buy it just to have it sit around i mean i bought this thing to beat the crap out of it and have a good time but here's where i was thinking of there's like a whole like couple strip malls along here that have um, huge parking lots but i think i'm gonna go down this way first i've never been back this way well guys we're getting warmer the problem is none of these back lots are ever flat they always lead to like drainage so it's kind of crappy for practicing because you're always having to battle a hill the whole time i'll bust a wheelie though couldn't get that turn straight up embarrassing guys But yeah, guys, it definitely uh, takes consistency. I mean, you can't just expect to hop on the bike every time and just bust a fat 12 o'clock wheelie. Oh, it looks like there's a lane behind this uh, strip mall too. So we're going to check that out. I don't know, but I'm just like in like plain view of any kind of traffic that goes by. Getting a little squirrely there. Ooh. I don't know why I just didn't go over here first. This could be legit. I like wheeling up hills. Oh, dude, this is it. Guys, we found our freaking stunt strip. That's a good sign right there too. Just bust the fattest wheelie of the whole day on that spot. I don't see any cameras pointed towards the back here either, guys. It's covered by the building and this hill right here. Guys, this is perfect. That's what I was afraid of though. It only feels good from this way. Just the way this is sloped. It's still not perfect, guys. But I think we just found our stunt spot. I'm liking this, guys. I am liking this. Well, guys, expect a lot of fat wheelies for the rest of this video. Dang. The problem that I've always, always had with this bike is I just can't point my wheelie where I want it to go. Like, yeah, I mean, you guys see me. I hop on a dirt bike. It's just like, I can just like whip that thing uh, wherever I want it to go, but this bike's just always giving me trouble with this pointing it and uh, following through with it. I guess I just gotta practice what I preach, guys, and that's just putting in uh, time behind the handlebars. But hopefully we can get some progress by the time we leave here. That's the one thing that is nice about this uh, stock exhaust, guys, is you're pretty uh, stealth. Like nobody in this building right here is going to hear me doing any of this just because I sound like a little small scooter. But I think that's going to change soon and it's about time anyway. Maybe it's like my seat positioning. Maybe I'll hug the tank a little bit more. All right, that felt good, but it still wants to go to one way and I just can't bring it back. So maybe it's not my position on the seat, but just the way that I'm shifting my weight. But I'm just trying to think of what I can try that's uh, 
different. That could have ended bad. Man, if I had some dual sport tires, I would romp up that hill right there. Guys, if you haven't seen it already, I actually have a, a how to wheelie on any bike tutorial out a few videos back. And a couple of you wanted like a first person view at like what my hands are doing. So this would be like a perfect time to look. But basically, like I said, guys, you just pull the clutch in, rev the bike up, and then just let go of the clutch and just make sure your foot's on the brake. It's not much to it, guys. Just like that, a wheel pops up, and then it's just up to you to balance it. Ah, oh man. I was trying to hold that one. But if any of you guys want some help with wheelies or anything, go check out that video. I'll have the link down in the description. that was pretty good I think I found a new technique that's helping I'm kind of like shifting my butt cheeks <laughs> kind of whipping the bike where I want it to go Woo! don't chase wheelies guys <laughs> yeah that definitely seems to help I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but I just checked the radar and it's literally like 10 minutes away from like a torrential downpour. So we're going to wrap this up guys and get home. Number one, because I don't want to um, get soaked. Number two, I don't want to ruin my GoPro because I had to drill the hole in the side of my case for that mic to go in. So it's not completely airtight. I mean, it's close. So we're going to try to get one good wheelie in and then get the heck out of here. It's funny because like that's the first time that the sun has come out all day and then I check the radar and it's coming from the other way like about to hammer us all right that was a good note to end on pretty much like a rev limiter wheelie <laughs> it was a little bit sloppy but hey you know I'm gonna take what I can take Come on, little Grom, that could. It's funny because it was like 20 degrees a couple of days ago and now I'm literally sweating. I shouldn't have worn this much. My heated grips are turned off, like I said. So I didn't even get to test those out really today. Any of you guys have roundabouts? I mean, it's like a must that you hop on them. Oh! Gotta beat the rain, gotta beat the rain. Pull out in front of me, everybody, you too. Thank you, lady, for not killing me. And she like, I could see her like mouthing me. People are always in such a dang hurry. Either that or they're just straight up distracted. I can't tell you guys how many cars that I see that people are just looking down, staring at their phones. It's dangerous out there, guys. Ooh, we got the state fire marshal up there. The large and in charge. He's checking me out too. Sorry, but your badge can't do anything to me. Ooh, that's a nice power stroke. Come on, please don't pull out in front of me. Please don't pull out in front of me. Thank you, shouty. What was up, man? You pouring some concrete around here, dude? Guys, I can smell the rain. I also smell brakes, too. I hope those aren't mine. Very well could be. Oh my gosh. It is dark up there. Oh, this is not good. Well, you guys, I literally made it back just in time. Like 15 minutes later, it fogged up really bad and started pouring. 
Got the bike all nice and dirty now, of course. This was my first time going out with that fender eliminator, and sure enough, everything held up pretty good. I went down hard a couple times on some of those wheelies, but it held up to the abuse. But this is what happens when you delete the fender. So I have a little bit of cleaning to do, but hey, it can wait. Check out the hood of my jacket too, all that mud shot up there. Surprisingly, not much on the back though, which doesn't really make sense. It all just went in my hood. But that is the price you pay for the fender delete. I still think it's worth it. But like I said, guys, we have some upgrades on the way, so stay tuned for that. I'm not going to tell you guys what yet, so leave a comment down below on what you think the upgrades are going to be. But definitely make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Turn those post notifications on so you can get an alert every time that I post a video so you can stay up to date. Also, what do you guys think of that new practice spot? I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's private. The ground's not completely flat, which is kind of a bummer, but I think we can deal with that for now. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video for some awesome wheelies today. I had a lot of fun, but that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video guys thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one